All right, so this one says, Adam cracks open a piggy bank and finds $4.90 or 490 cents. So you can do $4.90 like that, or you can write it as just cents. And if we do it like this, when we're working, we have to work with decimals. If we do it like this, we don't have to work with decimals. So I think the key thing is, is to not work with decimals and, and that's gonna cause issues. So we'll work with just the 490 cents. And they're all in nickels and dimes. And it says there are 13 more nickels than, or 13 more dimes than nickels. And how many nickels does Adam have? But we also want to know basically how many dimes does he have as well, because you have to know both of those to check your answer. All right, so if there's 13 more dimes than nickels. Let's say X equals nickels. And 13 more than that, well, X plus 13 then is the number of dimes. Well, now how do we know how much they are? Well, nickels, how much do they are? Well, they're five cents, dimes are 10 cents. Now again, remember, if, if we work with 490, we would do 0 0.05 and 0 0.10, but we're using the 490, and so we're using the cents instead of the dollars, because that's how much it would be with the dollars. All right, so we're gonna take five cents times the number of nickels, and then we're gonna take plus, 10 cents times the number of dimes, and that's gonna hopefully equal 490, okay? Well, guess what? This looks just like a problem we've been working all along. We just have to distribute and then add like terms. So we have 5x plus 10x plus 130 equals 490. Well, here we have like terms, so let's get rid of that 130 here. So 5x plus 10x is 15x, we subtract, that's zero, nine minus three is six, four minus one is three. Well, 15 times x is that, so let's divide by 15. So x is equal to, now we get to do some arithmetic, 360 divided by 15. Well, two times that's gonna be 30. Now we subtract that, that's six, bring down our zero. And so we have to have a four then, and that would give us 60, subtract, and so that means we have 24 nickels and x plus 13. Well, if we take 24, where did my number go? 24 plus 13, that's the seven, that's the three. I've got 37 dimes. Okay, so that is my numbers. Now, does it add up? Well, 24 times five cents each, that's 20, that's 10, 11, 12. And we have 37 times 10, that's 370. So 370 plus 120 is 490. That's how many it's supposed to be. So that checks out, okay? Again, they only ask how many nickels they had, but to really do our check, we had to also have the number of dimes. And so it's always good to have everything and then only put in what they ask for. All right, so here we have Richard inheriting some money, it looks like. So he inherits 24,300 and decides to invest in two different types of accounts, a savings account paying 2% interest and a CD paying 5.75% interest. He decides to invest $8,500 more in the CD than in savings find the amount invested in the savings account. All right, so do we have anything extraneous here? Yeah, because we don't actually calculate how much interest they're making. And so this piece, we really don't need. This piece, we really don't need. Now, if we were finding interest and things like that, those would be necessary. So I'm trying to get rid of and pare down what we're looking at in this problem. So we know we have inherited this much money, so that's important. And he wants to invest 8,500 more in the CD than savings. So let's let X equal amount invested, if I can spell. In savings. And then he, invested 8,500 more in the CD. So X plus 8,500 is amount invested in CD, okay? 
now we want to find the amount actually invested in the savings account as well as the CD. All right. So what do we do? Well, we take and say, okay, well, he's taking X plus X plus 8,500 is equal to 24,300. So he takes that much savings plus that much CD is equal to the total amount that he invested. Well, how do we simplify this? Well, we have to subtract 8,500 here because our numbers are on the right. We have like terms here, so we have 2x equals. Well, now what do we have? Well, now we have to borrow. So that's a 1. That's going to be a 13. And so we have 0, 0, 8, and then a 5, and then a 1. And so 2x is equal to 15,800. So we have to divide by 2. So x is equal to. And we have 15,800 divided by 2, so that's a 7. 14, subtract, that's 1. Bring down the 8, that's going to be a 9. That's 18, subtract, that's 0. Bring down 0, 0, so that's 0, 0. So it looks like they invested 7,900 in savings. Okay. Well, how much is the CD? Well, 8,500 plus 7,900, 0, 0, that's uh, 14, carry 1, that's 16. So it looks like x plus 8,500 equals 16,400 in CD. So that's what we're saying is a case if I've done my math right. Sometimes I do silly mistakes, so we'll see. Now let's see if we take 16,400 plus 7,900 do we get 24,300? Well, that's zero, that's zero. That's gonna give us 13, carry one. That's gonna give us 14, carry one. That's gonna give us two. That looks like we have the correct amount. So Richard invests $7,900 in savings and 16,400 in the CD. All right, we'll stop there and we'll come back in a second.